Good morning, everybody from Iowa. And uh, I hope you had a peaceful night. And uh, if you're in another country, I hope you had a peaceful day. Uh, let's start off with this one today. And today is voting day. Let's hope and pray for the best. This one is a little bit disturbing to me. Just a little bit disturbing. Did Biden... Wait a minute, I gotta put this... Wait a minute, I'll be right back. There we go. That wanted to cut my camera off. Okay. Did Biden just claim he spoke to a dead man? Oh boy, here we go. On Tuesday, President Joe Biden made a blunder of significance while campaigning for Charlie Crist for governor of Florida in the Miami neighborhood of Hallandale Beach. Hallandale Beach. During his speech, the president mentioned that he had a conversation with Frederick Batting, B-A-N-T-I-N-G, who is widely regarded as a person who developed insulin. Biden offered the audience in Florida a rhetorical question along the lines of, how many of you know somebody who has diabetes and needs insulin? Are you aware of how much it sets you back to manufacture the insulin medication for diabetics? One man came up with it and decided not to patent it so that it might be used by anyone. Okay, I talked to him. The president's narrative has one major flaw. Frederick Banting passed away at the age of 49 on February 20, 1941, which is 21 months before Joe Biden was born, November 20th, 1942. Here's one more problem with the speech that Biden gave on Tuesday. Insulin was never created by anyone. Instead, Banting made the discovery that insulin is a hormone that is created naturally in the body. Another one of Joe Biden's embarrassing gaffes, G-A-F-F-E-S, was detailed in an article that was published by Newsmax one month ago. This time, the gaffe, mm, pardon me, Good morning, coffee. Included Jackie Walorinsky, a congresswoman from Indiana who had passed away earlier this year in a vehicle accident. We, we heard about that. During the ceremony for the signing of measure, President Joe Biden spoke to the crowd by speaking out and asking, Where's Jackie? before going on to another topic. Oh, come on now, people. Nevertheless, his error in judgment was called out by both Democrat and Republican politicians as well as the entirety of the Twitter universe. A Democrat consultant who requested anonymity, anonymity told The Hill earlier this month, it's not a nice look. And we all are aware that that does nothing but add fuel to the fire for those who criticize the president for being so old. Biden's 79. Well, so am I. But I can't say much because, you, you know, my adopted mother, uh, her birthday was yesterday. And every year when her birthday rolls around on November 7th, I always look up and I wish her a happy birthday. But actually, I'm okay needs to exercise extreme caution so that he does not provide the opposition with ammunition that is simple to use. I don't think that the Republicans would hold that against Biden because these past two years, we knew right from the get-go something was wrong. You know? And uh, then as it moved on more and more we all could sense 
that something was not right with Biden. You know, bless his heart. And I don't like to come down on anybody that has loss of memory, Alzheimer's. You know, it, it, you can't do that. You've got to pray for them. Yes, you've got to pray for them. That is a hideous, hideous way to lose a person's mind. I've read so many articles on, on the Alzheimer's and, and all that stuff, but now they're coming up with stuff that can help you possibly and overcome. So let's keep praying that the Medical Association will come up with a cure for Alzheimer's. Yes. Additionally, Republican consultant and former member President George W. Bush's administration, Bruce Melham, or Melman, M-E-H-L-M-A-N, Melman, Melman, has stated his opinion that Biden gaffes are largely utilized by opponents as proof of maturity rather than for the substance of the words themselves. You know, we've all had loss of memory. I mean, you, common sense will tell you, you where'd I put my purse? Well, I thought I just had my purse over here. Now, where is it? So, I've got Alzheimer's? No. A child. Where'd I put my socks? Mama, where's my socks? Where's my shoes? They got Alzheimer's? No. But it seems as older we get, we are identified as having mental breakdown, Alzheimer's, loss of memory, you know. But it happens from the time that the child can learn to walk and go to school until we take our last breath and go beyond. So, you know, it's, I don't know. I get to talking and I don't know. <laughs> you know? The proceeding is a summary of an article that originally appeared on, well, on something, where'd it go? Is that all it's gonna say? Well, I guess that's it, folks. Well, okay, we'll go find something else then. Or dementia. That's the other one I couldn't think of. And they've got here a deal right here. Four warning signs of dementia. Number two is scary. Well, it probably is. But a child just learning to go to school and he forgot his backpack or maybe his uh, pencils or Crayolas or whatever, that child doesn't have dementia. I mean, a teen teenager forgets a phone call to a friend. Oh, I'm sorry, but I forgot to call you, bro. Yeah, you know, and then on up. Well, I went to the grocery store and forgot my grocery list at home, on the counter. How many times has that happened to you? You know, <laughs> it's happened to me. Oh, yeah. How about going to an eye doctor? After you've had your shower, you do your hair, you get dressed, you're ready to rumble and get to the eye doctor. And you walk out of the house, you get in the car, you go to the deal, and all of a sudden you just go, where's my glasses? You left them in the bathroom. You know, well, you got to take me back home, honey, because I got to get my glasses. I'm going to the eye doctor. You know, <laughs> it's funny. But no, I just feel bad. My heart goes out to anybody. You know, that if it should perturb uh, what do I want to say? Prolong, and, and it does get worse to a person to where they completely lose rationality and knowledge. You know, they need so many prayers. That is one bad way to end up. One bad way. Yeah. But, you know, at his age, my age, Anybody in my age, anybody past 50, you know, and sometimes it starts in the early uh, 40s. So, just, they need prayers. That's all I can say. My heart goes out to them. I don't know. Well, here was another interesting one. I'm still cleaning up my desktop from yesterday, believe it or not. I still got plenty loaded here. 
<laughs> don't ask me how I do it, but I just love reading and, and the articles and the news and whatever I can come up with. This one is pretty good here. According to authorities, Border Patrol agents in Texas caught many illegal immigrants in two separate busts. The first bust happened on Friday when the McAllen Border Patrol Station, MCS, got an anonymous call about suspected immigrants traveling in a vehicle that would pass through Los Ebanos, E-B-A-N-O-S, Los Ebanos. One of the agents located the vehicle, which was being driven by an American citizen. Within it, through uh, have been five illegal immigrants traveling to the U.S. from Central America. The vehicle was seized following the arrest of all the individuals involved. You know, my heart goes out to them people too. They're just trying, the good people, not the drug cut cartel and bringing drugs into our country, but the good people that are just trying to get a better life. My, my heart goes out to them. They're trying so hard to get to a country that will treat them like a human instead of maybe the country they're coming from. I, I don't know. Only a few hours later, an MCS camera captured people climbing into a GMC envoy near Hidalgo, Texas. H-I-D-A-L-G-O. Hidalgo, Texas. Hidalgo. Hi, De La Go, Texas. I have to spell them out. <laughs> I bet you feel like I'm in school, don't you? <laughs> Once the vehicle stopped near a canal, the people tried to escape. Oh, God love them. However, four immigrants from Mexico, El Salvador, and Honduras was found and captured. In this instant, the driver was not found. RGV Sector Chief Patrol Agent Gloria I. Chavez released a statement saying that the continued support of law enforcement agents was necessary for them to dismantle transnational, transnational criminal organizations, which is TCOS, who are active in the Rio Grande Valley region. In September, there was a large increase in immigrant encounters, especially when compared to previous years. In September of 21, one, oh boy, 92,001 migrate encounters were noted, while in 2020, the number dropped, drops to 57,674 migrates from 192,001. CBPS reports also showed that out of those arrested in the area on September 20 were known Terrace. Oh my goodness. Leave a comment. Please leave a comment. And welcome to my channel, by the way. I think I forgot to say that. Welcome to my channel. Uh, God bless you. Uh, click the like button. Uh, subscribe if you like. That's okay. Now my question is, who do you think was behind putting Biden in as president? I'd just like to know some of your thoughts. You know, because this was very well planned to get him in as president. We all know that. So somebody big behind it. Somebody big that had to get rid of Trump and put this country down as low about as it can go. Now, if war breaks out, it'll be very low, especially with, <laughs> we're low on weapons now. I did a video on that last night. Biden sent all of our stuff over to that other country. I don't mind helping a country out in time of need, but look at the billions and billions and billions of dollars. We got nothing. Oh, I don't know. Well, I'm going to say I'll be back. 
you are a blessing. And as today comes about, give someone else a blessing. I'll be back. Got to find my little camera button here. And hopefully next month I'll be able to buy a light to where I can get rid of the glare on these glasses. I traded uh, glasses, but this isn't much better than my other ones. So, but I'll be back in just a few.